What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the madness. Today we're going to be doing a basics tutorial on the TD27 KV2 drum module and drum set. I've had some time to tinker with a lot of the features, but I want to kind of give you a little bit of an overview of what's possible just right out the box without doing too much tinkering around on your computer. So let's jump right into it. The major order and content of what's gonna happen in this video is gonna be right here. And so you can kind of skip around if you want to or just watch the whole thing till the end because maybe I'll add some extra tidbits in between. Either way, I hope you guys get something out of this. Let's show you the metronome. So here we are, we've got a bunch of different buttons here that you can probably see. Actually, let me turn this on, autofocus. So you can see right now it's set to drum kit where I can kind of scan through a bunch of different drum kits. I personally right now I'm liking premium wood, so I'm gonna leave it there. But we can go to click and then we can change the tempo of the, of the metronome by just scrolling this wheel. And then also you can determine what gets the beat and also how many beats per clicking. So you can change this to here and I guess I'll uh, turn it on so you can hear it from the, you know, just what is going on here. So if I want, if I wanted to have like six beats per measure, but right now it's set to eighth notes, so there's gonna be 12. Let's change this back to quarters. And then you can also have this go all the way up to triplets, 16th, and so then you can really kind of get a good idea of what the metronome can do. Okay, let's go ahead and show you the coach feature real quick. So the coach feature's got three major functions. You got the time check, which will check your how close you are in real time so if you want to smack on the drums and get really close accurate timing then you can use the time check and you can adjust it based on the click the quiet count which um basically will skip click counts and it'll assume that you can follow along and be on time as well warm-ups is 10 minute 15 minute warm-up where it'll go through a bunch of different things where it'll it'll do change ups so it'll go from quarter half notes quarter notes to eighth notes, to triplets, to sixteenth notes, and go back again. It'll do that over and over and over again, and then it'll go into other exercises to get you really nice and warmed up. It's a really nice feature. And inside of here, you can set it up so that you can make it harder for yourself or longer, and then the max tempo based on when it goes, it'll scale from 80 all the way up to 260, and then it'll come back smoothly, so see if thought you can follow along that way too. And that's pretty much all I'll show you right now for the coach feature. So what you're first gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take one of these uh, SD cards, kinda like this one, and there is a spot on the, on the module right over here, right underneath here, there's a, you can see it inside of uh, the unboxing video if you'd like, but you're just gonna slap this thing inside of there. So just like this. and then it just kind of spring clicks into place. So now that you've got that in there, you're gonna wanna go to system, SD card, and then if it's the first time you're using this thing, you're gonna wanna go over here to format, right? And then for now, I'm just gonna do it because I don't have much on there anyways. So I'll just click okay. And then so while this thing processes and formats the thing, it puts it in the right, like basically it just sets up the proper directories inside of the uh, SD card so that it properly puts every, you know, thing that you record in the right directory when it comes down to saving it. And I'll show you how to record stuff um, with and without a, uh, a Bluetooth input backing track, which is really freaking cool. So if you just want to record like a beat, you know, whatever you want to, you know, whatever beat you have in your mind, you just click record button and then just click all and then once you once you say you know whether or not all drums only 
you can change that with the cut with the uh, you can probably change that oh looks like it's just with the wheel so just all or drums only I'm just gonna click all for the hell of it and then we'll just click play so now it's now it's recording and so that's what's gonna be recorded so now if I want I can go to export and I can say okay and that saves it basically Without doing that, you haven't really saved anything. And so then you can go ahead and play this. And it's exactly what you just heard. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and show you recording with a backing track. Now this is really awesome because it can come in via Bluetooth, which is amazing. So let's just go ahead and do uh, some Mega Man Legends Apple Market music. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna target all, Click yes, I'm gonna play this. All right, and so that's that. So now it stopped recording. Now let's go ahead and export that. Okay. And then the other way, of course, to record is if you have this thing connected up to a mixer. And I'll, uh, I'll be able to show you that in a little bit. But let's go ahead and uh, take, this, um, take this SD card out and show you what it looks like on the computer. So lastly, I want to talk about trigger points. So in order to find this stuff, you go to system right here, and then you go to trigger. Now you can, you know, find your particular drum. Um, but the one that I'm used to using the most is the hi-hat. So I go to the hi-hat and right now I've got it set. So it's a little bit more sensitive. So I put it at minus 20. So the offset right here determines how much is going to be basically how much pressure is applied without you actually applying it. So you can see when I'm applying the pressure, it's the higher the number right here, the higher the value of pressure. So so that's what's kind of going on as I'm pressing on the foot of the hi-hat pedal. So you can change all that stuff here. And then you can go into here and you can change the different uh, toms or whatever else you want inside or you can just monitor. And uh, depending on what drum you hit, it'll uh, generate a different value up on the top right here. That's the snare. And it tells you what drum it is right here. Kick, snare, tom one, two, three, hat, crash, crash and then, you know, ride. And then the rest of them have not been plugged in yet. That's why they're listed as A on there. Um, all right, so that's that. Let's go ahead and show you how to import and use your recordings for later. All right, guys, so now that I'm back and I have uh, successfully recorded some of my content, uh, I've got it right here on this card, so I'm gonna plug it into my computer and I will show you how that stuff gets pulled right off um, in a second. All right, so now we're just in my, interesting. So here we are, let's go down to the thing I just put in. So here's the F drive where I just uh, recorded some stuff. So go to recordings and here's my two wave files that I just made. Either way, you can use these wave files however you want. The other way to record them is of course with a mixer and an audio interface, which is another way that I do this. So in case I don't feel like, you know, importing stuff, I can just use the uh, Streamlabs, which I'll show you right here. Oh, you got a super confusing looking uh, video content here, but either way, my drums will come in through this guitar uh, because this is my audio interface, which is the master input from my mixer over here. So I'll just show you that real quick. So right here is my drum interface or my drum input. And then this is my vocals, 
guitar, keyboard, so on and so forth. And you can see these are what's recording. And then that goes straight to the audio interface right there. So that is how I can get audio from the, from the drum set as well. You don't have to do the recordings, but it makes it really, really easy in case you don't feel like tinkering with Streamlabs. It's just another option. Either way, uh, that's all for this video. I hope that you got something out of it. I appreciate you guys coming in and checking it out. So if you wouldn't mind smacking the like button, that would be really helpful. Helps me get going. And uh, you know, I'd like to provide more content like this to you guys in the future. But until then, I'll catch you all on the flippy floppy, y'all. Ciao for now.